Ugh. Um, that took quite a YouTube map there. Um, let's see here. There's a new season of Pokemon Go PPP. Well, they added Trailblaze. That seems like a cool move. Uh, what else we got in here? Um, Scorching Sand. Oh, that's, that's a cool move. Uh, ooh, and, um, and Triple Axel. Uh, might, might run that on Mr. Rhyme in the Ultra League. Uh, Magnemite got Volt Switch. Onyx gets Breaking Swipe. And Trapinch gets Scorching Sand. I, this is great. Now I just need to get 100 Trapinch. And I'll build that for the Great League. <laughs> but until I do... Let's try Magnemite with Volt Switch. Um, I've partnered it up with uh, a Palisand on the lead. Uh, Palisand got Scorching Sand. Uh, and then the Heliolisk is my safe swap. Um, and Breaking Swap Heliolisk is really good. Um, <laughs> and I've built one for the Ultra League. So um, I'm looking forward to showing you guys that when the Ultra League rolls around here. Um, and then finally, um, I honestly didn't think that Thundershock... Uh, or, sorry, I didn't think that Volt Switch would be better than Thundershock, but I'm going to eat my goddamn words, because um, Volt Switch Magnemite is amazing. Um, it, get, it lets me run Magnet Bomb uh, and have a lot of uh, electric pressure as well. Um, if you are a, uh, if you keep up with me, you know that I love Return Magnemite. Um, I was originally going to build a Return Magneton, but... Uh, even at 000 IVs, um, a purified Magneton is impossible. And I wanted coverage for Swampert at that time. So I built a Magnemite. And, and since then, I have gotten a, a return Magnezone and Magneton for the Great League, thanks to newer trainers in the area. Um, but without further ado, let's get into some of these battles. Um, and, and just, you, oh, I, I just love, love Heliolisk now. Well, I, I already loved Heliolisk, but uh, I'm happy he's good now. <laughs> Alright, so we got our first battle here, going against Roxor. Uh, this is pretty early in the ranking. Positive lead here. Um, I don't know if they switch out. I know there's another Steelix lead battle in here. Um, they, oh, they, yeah, okay, I remember this one. They shield up, um, switch into Blaziken. Don't ask why I threw the Shadow Ball here. It doesn't really matter, though. Uh, they shield it, um, and then I Scorching Sands and knock out this Blaziken here. Uh, and then they swap in the Steelix and shield the breaking swap. And then I feel like, you, you know, I figured a uh, Heliolus probably isn't going to do too good in the back here. So um, I'm just going to throw it out and do as much damage to the Steelix. Because I, I clearly need to preserve my Palisand for whatever's in the back here. Um, so that's what I do. Uh, Palisand comes back out here. And they have a Deoxys. Uh, Palisand is a very underrated Pokemon this season. <laughs> Uh, my IVs are terrible. I got a 12, 10, 10, 1. And I'm, I'm hoping I can get a good one in the future here. Um, let the Psycho boost through. It, it doesn't hurt Magnemite for once. Um, and then I'm going to go for the return uh, BM here. Because <laughs> you know, what else do you do when you build a Magnemite with return? Um, and that, that's that first game here. Going to the next one here. Bad lead. Don't like it. Switch immediately to Heliolisk. And here comes Venusaur. Um, and one dragon's breaking swipe here. Um, gonna shield this first, uh, frenzy plan up here. Then throw the next breaking swipe. This is why Heliolisk is really good now. And then the next breaking swipe. <laughs> um, and then they definitely over farmed here. Um, and which allows Heliolisk to, to flip switch here. Uh, they've got Hitmon top in the back. Uh, another new, got triple axle, which is pretty cool for it. Fortunately, it's not, doesn't do much for hit, uh, Hitmontop. Um, they throw out their Azumarill, catch the Shadow Ball, pretty good on them. The only problem is now I get to farm entirely down with Magnemite and fire off a return into a near full health Hitmontop, which you, you don't think a hit Magnemite would be able to take out a Hitmontop, but here you go. <laughs> and that's why I like return. Uh, next battle here, we've got Palisand into Lantern. This is a kind of a mixed lead, uh, pretty positive for me though. They switch out into Talonflame. They uh, shield up the Breaking Swipe, thinking I was going to have like Discharge or Parabolic Charge. Um, and I'm able to completely farm down here. They bring back in, uh, they bring in Steelix, here we go. Uh, and Grass Knot does a respectable amount of damage for only neutral on a Steelix. Um, Heliolisk gets another Breaking Swipe in here. And then I don't think people know the Heliolisk counts too much because they shield here. Uh, which lets my Palisand get a nice, good old farm farm down here. Um, 
And that's that's kind of it for the Steelix. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just gonna scorching sand this. And then we've got Lantern in the back here, which is gonna hit with the scorching sands. And then I switch over to Magnet Knight because you know he didn't get to do anything in this battle. He wants to do a thing. So who am I to say no to that? Uh, throw the return and get that win into the next battle here. We got uh, Palisand into Machamp, a excellent lead. The, uh, I thought they immediately, no, there they go. They switch out into Pidgeot. Um, I call the Feather Dance here. That's gonna do nothing double resisted. Uh, and I'm going to farm all the way down. Uh, they are gonna get one off Brave Bird off here. So I do shield this one here. Um, and this is resisted Feather Danced Magnemite. Nearly, that's a lot of damage for a resisted move. Uh, and then they've got Nido Queen in the back here. Um, gonna throw Palo Sand out and just start spamming Scorching Sands. Nido Queen is not a Pokemon you see anymore, and honestly, I kind of miss it because it was one of the reasons I built my Magnemite in the first place here. But uh, Palo Sand just just putting in work. Palo Sand is really underrated right now, uh, and and by association, Runarigus Ghost and Ground is a very good typing right now. Uh, Metacham is really popular. Uh, obviously, you don't see too many of them in this bat in this in these games here. Um, Defense Deoxys is another great um, <laughs> gets destroyed by Palisand. Uh, shield the first Psycho Boost, and then I'm going to uh, let the second one go through here. But uh, yeah, just Palisand's so good, so underrated. You should build one if you don't have one, even if it's bad IVs, because this Palisand here is put it in work. Uh, they're going to have Gardevoir here in the back. I don't... I'm, I don't know how I feel about the triple axe along Gardevoir. Um, get, the, get the farm down. And they have Hypno here. They shield this Magnet Bomb. Um, the game was kind of over. Palisand triple countered them. Uh, <laughs> I shield up the Thunder Punch here, fearing an Ice Punch. Uh, but I'm going to Shadow Ball and then leave it with one hit points and then show my Heliolisk. Uh, and that's that game. Uh, going on to the next one here. We've got Palisand into Jellicent. Kind of a mixed lead, but I don't like it, so I switch immediately to my Magnemite. Uh, Lure out of Defense Deoxys, which is good. Uh, you want to see, you want to pull out the counter user uh, or the ground, or like you know something like Galarian Sunfisk or Steelix. And actually, Magnemite can deal a lot of damage with Return to Steelix. You wouldn't think so, um, but. Uh, now I don't have to respect anything. Shield, don't shield up the rock slide. I call the bait. Um, and get a good farm up here. Let them throw another psycho boost. And then they bring in their Jellicent. Shield up the shadow ball. Uh, and then I shield this up. And it's actually a bubble beam. Um, so Heliolus gets a lot of farm here. So we'll uh, farm down this. I think we throw it one breaking swipe here. No. I think we throw it after this bubble beam here. No, okay, we do full farm down. Uh, and then what wants to come in? Defense Deoxys. Throw the Grass Knot. I love Grass Knot on um, Heliolisk, by the way. And then I'm just going to start throwing out uh, Breaking Swipe and then switch over to uh, Shadow Ball just to get the knockout here and take that game. And then we got Soup Dog here. I remember this one. A terrible lead. <laughs> so I switch immediately into Heliolisk. Um, and then I just tank a Leaf Blade. That does a lot of damage. Um, throw out my breaking swipe. I think they shield this one. Yeah, because they, they don't know the moves. Uh, their Polyrath gets a, gets a good little farm down there. Um, Ice Punch hurts. Throw a Scorching Sand. I think they shield this one. No, they don't. Okay. I think they shield the next one. Um, and they are, they are building up energy here. They throw the Power Up Punch here. Uh, and I was fully prepared to let him go down. Uh, I shield up this power-up punch because Magnemite's very frail. Um, and then they bring in Sceptile. Shield up this Leaf Blade because that would probably knock out Magnemite. He's a very frail boy. Uh, throw the Magnet Bomb. And then um, this, is, this is why I like Magnemite. It can just do an unexpected amount of damage. Yeah, Discharge probably would have done more if I'd built up to two. Um, but... I win two CMP ties, <laughs> and this guy was just tired of PvP that day because here, here he is with the rage quit. Uh, 
Uh, and we got Palisand and to do another Steelix here. Here we go. I think this guy, yeah, swaps out immediately. And then we've got uh, Azumarill into Heliolisk. And I should have baited with the Breaking Swipe first, but I go for the Grass Knot. Um, they shield once. I'm like, okay, they probably won't shield the second one. And they shield the second one. But that's okay. I still get a Breaking Swipe off here. Uh, doesn't really do much, but it allows Magnemite to come in here, tank an Ice Cream decently as well as Magnemite can tank one. They switch back into Steelix, which I'm not going to be upset. Uh, they've got Breaking Swipe. Probably Breaking Swipe and Earthquake, I'd imagine. Um, I'm always fearing the Crunch, because that's what I like to run. Uh, although I haven't run Steelix yet this season. Um, it's it's more of my one of my favorite Ultra League Pokemon. I don't even know if I'm going to switch from Psychic Fangs, to be honest. Um, although I, I do understand the merit of Dragon Tail, or a, dra a Breaking Swipe and Earthquake. So, they make a great catch here. Catch the Magnet Bomb on the Azum Roll, but I don't charge. I'm able to get a, uh, a Volt Switch in, build up to a second Magnet Bomb. Unfortunately, not build up to a second one, though. Uh, but, I mean, I have to call the bait here. That's a Body Slam. That's not going to do it. And then that's me taking the game there with Palisand again. Palisand's really good. Y'all should build one. Or Rune Regis. Uh, so we got Magnamar up now. Uh, terrible lead. <laughs> Immediately swap into uh, Heliolisk. And people are going to learn that Heliolisk has grass moves, but not right now. <laughs> so uh, just going to break and swipe this Bastiodon. Uh, make it just do not much damage here. I'm going to go for the grass knot just to give make sure um, Palisand doesn't have too much to farm down. Uh, they throw the stone edge, take it out. And then I'm just going to start farming up here. A lot of mud shots. Throw that. Um, they shield it. I don't know why. Because, I mean, they've got... I guess they haven't seen my third yet. Uh, get some lag there. But uh, managed to do that. And then shield once. And then volt switch all the way down. Volt switch. I love volt switch on Magnemite. I'm ready to eat my words. I thought it wasn't going to be better than Thundershock. I'm a fool. And hey, here's Metacham. Uh, so switch back into Heliolisk on this Jellicent. Surf will do a, you know, a decent amount of damage. Um, but we can just spam Breaking Swipes and, and force switch. Uh, I'm going to shield this just to get more uh, farm in. And then, oh, they get to the second Surf, so I figured I'll shield it. Um, and then do they bring back in their Metacham? I think they do. Yeah, so uh, double Breaking Swipe here. Uh, just neuter this Metacham's damage. Heliolisk is really good for setting your uh, your, your, your next up. Uh, and then here is uh, Alola Ninetales. I don't think I win this one. Yeah, I, I don't got a chance, so uh, I think I forfeit here. <laughs> uh, yeah, because there was nothing I could do there. So, uh, what do I think? Uh, I think Palisand is, is awesome. You should build it. Uh, if you manage to get a good purified Magnemite and you don't and you don't mind spending the XLs for it, I like purified Magnemite. <laughs> you couldn't tell. Um, Heliolisk is also greatly improved. I was looking at it in the Ultra League and it's like rank nine in safe swaps for PV Poke, um, and that's really impressive. <laughs> from I don't know what it was last season. Definitely not rank nine last season, but with breaking swipe and Volt Switch you're able to flip a lot of matchups. Um, you can take out Swamperts, you can take out Giratinas, you could... Helios because he's so good now. I'm so happy. I know Home Slice Henry was pretty happy about him too. Um, I was watching one of his streams or videos where he was talking and uh, he's excited about Helios. I'm happy about Helios because I love my silly little lizard boys. Um, I'm trying to think of what I'd want to partner it up with right now. Um, that isn't just Steelix and Blastoise, because that's my favorite two Pokemon to run in the Ultra League. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I might upload shorts in the future here. Uh, commentated shorts. Uh, just let me know how y'all feel about that. And you have a good rest of your day. Bye.